Okay, so step one is to come down to our Windows search and we're going to type in sound recorder. Okay, you're going to see it come up right here, sound recorder app. Click here. Okay, once the app loads, you're going to see this interface. And the first thing you'll want to do is make sure the correct microphone is selected right here. If you have more than one microphone, you'll want to make sure that the microphone you want to use is selected. All right, once you do that, you're going to simply click on this red button here in order to start the recording. In this scenario, I'm going to be reading a poem called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So I'm going to go ahead and get this moved to the left hand side of my screen and I'll have the sound recorder on the right side. All right, here I go. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Okay, and you can see there when I was done, I clicked the stop button. And now you're going to see here the visual of the audio wave to show us that we have in fact made the recording. We can also click the play button down here to play it back and listen. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Okay, so that sounds really good. Now, let me go ahead and full screen the recording app here. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is you'll notice that the file is called Recording 11. And so we will want to change the name of our recording. So on the left over here, I'm going to right click on the title and you can see here I can rename it. And click rename. All right, great. Okay. Now you might be wondering, okay, great. This was cool, but where is this file now? stored on the computer. So to find that out, we can right click on the title again. And here you'll see show in folder. We'll click there. This folder will open up and you'll find it here listed with other audio recordings. Up here at the top, you'll see that it's located in the documents folder and within another folder called sound recordings. So we can click on documents and we can see that folder here called sound recordings. So everything you record will be stored in this folder. So when it comes to using your audio file in another project, for example, maybe you're bringing it into a PowerPoint or you're making a video and you're bringing it into that, You'll know to navigate to this folder, find the recording, and add it to your project. All right, and that is how you use the sound recorder in Windows 11.